Good day everyone. I'm Michael. And I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. Variables will represent storage locations, and each variable has a particular type that determines what type of values can be stored in the variable. Variables in c -sharp are the same as variables in mathematics. Before we understand what is a variable, let's understand the expressions. In programming, an expression is any legal combination of symbols that represents a value. The followings are examples of expressions. The result of these expressions are fixed, 10 plus 20 is equal to 30, 5 times 2 is equal to 10, and 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. The next example is also an expression with a variable. The result of these expressions depends on the value of x, y, and z. For example, if x equals 5 then the result of x plus 20 would be 25, and if x equals 20 then the result of x plus 20 would be 40. In the same way, the result of y asterisk 2 depends on the value of y, and the result of z slash 2 depends on the value of z. Here x, y, z are called variables because their values can be changed. The same concept is used in C-sharp. In C-sharp, a variable stores a value of the specific data type. It can store a numeric, char, string, or other types of value. You can declare and assign a value to a variable like an integer x equals 5, where integer is the data type, x is the name of a variable, equals is an operator that assigns the value to a variable, and 5 is the integer value assigned to a variable x. This is how we declare and initialize a variable. First, first, we need to specify the data type, then the variable name, and last is the value, which is optional. Here, int is a data type, number is the variable name, or an identifier. The equal operator is used to assign a variable. The right side of the equal operator is a value that will be assigned to left side variable. The 100 is assigned to a variable number. Here is another example of declaring and initializing variables of different data types. In this example, I simply declare variables with different data types and print their content using the console write line method. The expected output would look like this after running this code. There are rules in naming a variable in C-sharp. First, variable names must be unique. You can't have two variables with the same name. Second, variable names can contain letters, digits, and the underscore only. Third, variable names must start with a letter. Fourth, variable names are case-sensitive, number and number are considered different names. Fifth, variable names cannot contain reserved keywords. Must prefix it before keyword if you want to use the reserve keywords as variable names or identifiers. And last, variable names cannot contain spaces. C Sharp is the strongly typed language. It means you can assign a value of the specified data type. You cannot assign an integer value to string type or vice versa. So in this example, assigning a string to an integer will give us an error because we cannot assign a string to an integer type variable. In declaring and initializing a variable, we could do it in a single statement or in two or more statements. In example one, we declare and initialize the variable x in a single statement. In example two, we declare then initialized it in a separate statement. The late initialization is also used if the value we would like to assign to it will be coming from a user or a database. Next is the invalid assignment. This statement in example 2 is invalid because a variable, I was assigned to another value without initializing or assigning a value to it. The va value of a variable can be assigned to another variable of the same data type. However, a value must be assigned to a variable before using it as shown in example 2. We can also change the value of a variable anytime after initializing it. So here, we initialize the variable x by assigning a value of 100. Then on the second line, we assign a new value to it. So if we print the value of x, we get 200 instead of 100. Because the value of the variable x will be the last value assigned to it. Next is multiple variables. The statement in example 1 is declared and initialized multiple variables of the same data type separated by a comma. 
This valid statement, as long as it has the same data type. Multiple variables of the same type can also be declared in multiple lines separated by a comma. The compiler will consider it to be one statement until it encounters a semicolon. Variable can also be used in an expression and the result of the expression can be assigned to the same or different variable. In this example, the value of j depends on the value of i, you must re-execute the expression each time you change the value of i, otherwise, the value of j would not be changed based on the value of i. In c -sharp, variables must be declared with the data type. These are called explicitly typed variables. But in c -sharp 3.0, the var keyword was introduced. This is to declare method-level variables without specifying data explicitly. In explicitly type variable, we don't need to specify the data type of the variable. Now, how does the compiler know what type of data type we are trying to declare? In this example, I assign 100 to number variable. The compiler will infer the type of a variable from the expression on the right side of the equal operator. So this will be compiled as an integer since the value we assign to it is an integer value. The following example shows c -sharp compiler infers type based on the value. Here, here, the var will compile as integer, the variable name will compile as string, the variable temp will compile as double, and the variable is valid will compile as boolean. We can also assign an expression to a var type variable. In this example, the variable j will be compiled as an integer. What are the things that are not allowed in using var? In example 1, the code will get a compile time error. Because in implicitly typed variables, it must be initialized at the time of declaration, otherwise c -sharp compiler would give an error, unlike in explicitly typed variables where we can declare and initialize a variable in two separate statements. In example 2, we cannot also declare var variables in a single statement. So this statement is invalid. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone.